somebody uh, this morning alert some people, uh, especially those that work as door supervisors or in the security industry, uh, in relation to some of the abuses of power uh, that is that is going on by the SIA, uh, especially in relation to how they are quoting non-existent legislation, they are uh, pretending they have powers that they don't have in order to intimidate door supervisors, uh, in order to uh, facilitate investigations which they are not empowered by statute to carry out. Uh, and I think it's important people are aware of their own legal uh, basis for what they do have to comply with and what they don't have to comply with. Um, but before we get to that, uh, just on a more general legal point, it would just alert people to the fact that, uh, and this is going to be awfully embarrassing for the PSNI and probably the Legal Services Department, but I think it's probably just another day at the office for them, isn't it? Um, when somebody's uh, home or, or premises are searched under Code B of, of PACE, the Police and Criminal Evidence Order in Northern Ireland, 1989, uh, the code of practice there is an obligation to provide uh, the person in so far as practical, practical uh, with uh, a, a notice of the rights in relation to the, the rights of the occupier. Um, I would just point out that paragraph four of these notice notices, uh, which the police are continuing to give out, a, 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 an individual came to the, came to the office this morning whose home had been searched only yesterday, uh, and uh, and provided a copy of one of these notices, so that they're still doing this, you know, right up until this moment. Uh, at paragraph 4 of the notice it states any person claiming property seized by police may apply to a magistrate's court under the Police Property Act 1987 for its possession. You would be surprised to know that there's no such legislation as the Police Property Act 1987. It just quite simply doesn't exist. Now there was a piece of legislation which did have effect in Northern Ireland called the Police Property Act 1897. Not 1987, 1897. So some poor person who typed this up, which the police have been using for about 10 years and yet they haven't managed to uh, realise the mistake they've made, uh, might have argued, well, you know, it says 1987, we're meant 1897. Well, that might stand up if not for the fact that even the Police Property Act 1897 was repealed by the Police uh, Northern Ireland Act 1998. So it should actually lead any person claiming property seized by the police may apply to a magistrate's court under section 31 of the Police uh, Northern Ireland Act 1998. This is an absolute farce. These are the people charged with upholding the law. They're handing notices out to citizens telling them these are your rights, this is what you can do. It's just legally false. It's just, it doesn't even exist. It's, it's, it's absolute nonsense. But moving on to the SIA, a couple of quick points in relation to them. The SIA is a statutory body corporate. They only have powers in so far as Parliament has given them. In relation to entering premises, uh, the SIA, firstly, their powers of entry and inspection are set out at Section 19 uh, of the Private Security Industry Act 2001. That is the powers that Parliament intended to give to the SIA. They didn't intend to give them expansive powers. If they had intended to give them powers under PACE, they would have given them powers under PACE. For example, uh, Parliament intended certain HMRC officers to have powers under PACE, so they put it in the statute. They didn't intend the SIA to have those powers, so therefore they didn't put it in the statute. They set out their powers at Section 19 of the Act, and they made very clear uh, that, that this was to be the limits of the investigative powers. By, by mere virtue of the fact that Parliament made it a criminal offence not to comply with Section 19 uh, request, so therefore they, they have given that tool to the SIA. What the SIA ha have started doing is they've went far beyond that because they've went to the police, over here, the Police Service of Northern Ireland, and they've asked the police to use their powers under PACE in order to aid their investigations. Now, number one, this goes way beyond the investigative powers that Parliament intended the SAA to have. There's no legal or lawful basis for it. Secondly, the PSNI have no basis to essentially lend their powers to a statutory body corporate to carry out investigations. For example, let's take the Social Security Agency, the Department of Communities. If you're being investigated for uh, so, some kind of housing benefit, for, uh, for example, or uh, Social Security, for what would happen is that the investigation would be carried out by a specialist criminal investigation team by those statutory body corporates and they would then refer the matter to the PPS uh, or they, if it's serious, would take the matter to the police. Now when they take the matter to the police, it would then be the job of the police to investigate. The police couldn't say, okay, uh, 
to the Department for Communities. Come along with us, we're going to carry out a search, carry out a search and allow the Department for Communities to take what's seized and proceed with their own third party investigation. There's just no legal basis for it. So what, there, what therefore is the basis for the PSNI allowing the SIA to take a lend of their powers? The police essentially applying for and executing search warrants on their pace on behalf of the SIA and then simply handing the materials over to the SIA and saying good luck with your, your third party investigation. At which point the SIA, if they want to prosecute, do it as a private prosecution. They don't even do it through the public prosecution service. It is absolutely absurd. Let's follow the logic of that. <coughs> It would be like an individual going to the police to report theft and saying, uh, I believe Mr. X stole from me. And the police saying, okay, uh, we formed reasonable suspicion that yes, he may have, uh, he may have stole from you. Uh, and then, well, come, come along with us, sir. We're going to go and search Mr. X's house. The police taking you along with them to search Mr. X's house and then saying, now what would you like to take? Allowing the complainant to take materials and say, good luck now. You take all that, and if you want to take a, a private prosecution against Mr. X, uh, well and good, you hold this stuff. There's no legal basis for it whatsoever. That's going to be challenged in court, 31st of October, at Newton Arch Magistrates Court. There will be a challenge in relation to those abusive powers. The powers simply do not exist. Secondly, the SIA quite often, under Section 19 of the powers, send letters to door supervisors demanding information. Now, this information can only fall within the parameters of what the SIA are mandated to investigate. So the SIA in some of these uh, the questions which have been, for example, demanding people's unique ta tax reference number. The SIA have no powers of financial investigation within Northern Ireland. In November 2015, the SIA got extra uh, powers under the Proceeds of Crime Act in England and Wales. It doesn't apply to Northern Ireland. They have no mandate for financial investigations in Northern Ireland. Therefore, no person should have to comply with, with uh, such unreasonable and legally baseless requests. What the SIA have also been doing is then sending people letters saying, if you do not respond to this, we're going to have you arrested. Now, quick, quick fire legal lesson for the SIA's legal department and their investigators. To enter somebody's home, to activate an arrest under the Police and Criminal Evidence Order 1989 within Northern Ireland, it has to be an indictable offence. Section 19 is a summary only offence. There are no powers of entry to enter into somebody's home to activate an arrest. So, unless the SIA are going to carry out a citizen's arrest themselves, which they don't have even the power to do for a summary only offence, or they are going to enlist the PSNI to try and chase door supervisors in public places to try and arrest them for a summary only offence, then Quite frankly, they're not going into anybody's house to arrest anybody because they don't have the powers to do it. So once again, absolute nonsense uh, from the SIA and I think door supervisors need uh, to be aware of this and to be aware that these people do not have the powers that they're claiming to have. For example, uh, and I'll finish with this, uh, in, in entering somebody's home here in Northern Ireland within the last couple of months, an SIA person who was part of a police search team. Now, since when did the police search team under PACE have the legal authority to bring along a third party from a statutory body corporate? Amazing. The individual flashed a card which said they were a financial investigator and they had the power to enter uh, to, to investigate, you can read this on Union's voice, to investigate uh, financial matters. Uh, number one, even within the United Kingdom where they do have powers of financial investigation in England and Wales, they can only enter licensed premises. They can't enter private dwellings. So for a start, that's not on their wee entry card. They don't tell people that. And secondly, there's no powers to enter anywhere in Northern Ireland because the SAA don't have powers under the Proceeds of Crime Act or financial investigation powers within Northern Ireland. So I think it's important people are aware of this. I think the police should probably uh, amend the notice of rights so the court or whoever hands these false nonsense uh, baseless notices out to citizens should probably amend that and I think it's high time that the police took a long hard look at themselves and asked why they are facilitating legally baseless demands from the SIA to certain SIA officials you are not Batman you are not a vigilante you cannot go and arrest people you have no powers of arrest beyond what is given to you by statute you actually have no powers beyond that of a private citizen so get back in your box and catch yourself on